What is up guys, Pie Muffin here and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. So, I would have had this video out sooner, but this news dropped while I was asleep. We are finally getting a new banner. It's actually been quite a while, you know. The, I mean, obviously we have this anime uh, broadcast uh, scout thing that came with the episode. But uh, I don't really count this, so the last actual banner was this Leafa one, which actually goes away in six days, so it's been here for quite a while. So, what's to today is Mon... No, today's Tuesday, the 21st, so that would have been... Oh, it would have been the 11th when this banner dropped, so... It's been roughly 10 days since our last banner. Um, So I was curious when we were going to get our next thing, and I thought... Maybe because of the importance of this episode, we would get a Berkuli unit. Like, maybe like a one-armed Berkuli. But uh, it looks like they're not going to be doing that. It looks like they dropped a Berkuli on Memory Defrag. But for us, uh, we are going to be getting our our second ever seasonal banner. Our first seasonal banner was the Ronian TSA for the Valentine's uh, uh, time of year. And our second one is going to be a Liz and Asuna Enhance Mode Mermaid Unit. Uh, they are calling it Mermaid Mode. I think that's just meant to be a joke. It's not actually like Mermaid Mode. It's just an Enhance Mode Liz and Asuna. But um, this is pretty cool. Um, you know, getting Enhance Mode uh, seasonal units is pretty, pretty dope. The only issue I kind of have with this is they're, they're Double Earth. Um... Which literally is just what Leafa was. So if these were fire, I would be super excited for this. But I'm going to be going in on this because I never want uh, to miss a chance to get seasonal units. Um, obviously, I like Liz a lot more than I like Asuna. So I think I'd definitely like to pull her. But this is our first Asuna that is not a rapier unit. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. It's an Asuna that actually is just a sword unit. That's actually really, really cool. Um, but we'll go over the units here real quick, and then we'll see if, I think there should be an event. The banner's gonna drop at the normal time at night, uh, you know, rough, in a little over 12 hours from now. Um, so that'll be pretty good there. Steps one and three are half off as usual. I'll probably go all five steps if I don't pull either of them, because, you know, if I have to go to step five, that at least gives me a 50% chance to get one of them. And, uh, like I said, I am very happy that Asuna is a sword unit, because I'll have much more usability for her than if she was a rapier unit. But, um, the new cutoff point, it, which is kind of funny, I mentioned how, you know, f I wish they were fire units, which, it wouldn't make sense. But then again, them being earth units doesn't make sense either, I feel like they should be water if they're mermaids, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but the new cutoff point is the Shaita and Iskan that, uh, came together quite a while ago. Uh, you know, I think it's been about two months now since uh, they came out, which is pretty cool. Um, so they're in the general pool there. So those who saved their free uh, four-star for ISKCON, I mean, it's not free. It was the summonable version, but everyone got one for free because we're not going to see fist units that often. So they were just like, okay, we'll give everyone a copy. Um, so if you do eventually get lucky to get ISKCON, at least you have that weapon on you, assuming you were playing back then. Um... Let's go ahead and look at what she does. Well, actually, let's look up here what this has this mermaid mode. So, for Liz, it's a powerful attack wrapped in bubbles. And for Asuna, it's a... She wraps her allies in light to restore their health. So, the Asuna is a healing unit, which actually is pretty good for Earth. Because, uh... Let me actually look real... I mean, I can't look at all the units in general, but I can look at what I have. Um... Um, I mean, Roni, the Roni I have technically has a heal. Uh, her break skill does like a, I think it's a, is it small or medium? Um, weak. Okay, it's weak. So, I mean, I do have that, but I guess the Asuna would not be bad to have an actual healer. Plus, it's an enhanced mode unit. So, I think that'd be pretty good there. Um, okay, so the Liz is a charge attacker. And then the Asuna is a break healer, so that's pretty cool there. 
I like how they're being a bit more unique with their... Since they seem to be on this enhanced mode kind of like thing, they have to make ways for characters to have other abilities because it's usually either charge assault enhanced mode or break assault enhanced mode. So these units have to have heals in there somewhere. Um, I do think eventually we'll get like just some crazy stupid healer. Uh, I don't know what character they'll do for it, but we'll probably get an enhanced mode healer that's probably like heal, assault, and then enhanced mode. But uh, for now, it seems like that's how they're uh, doing this. Um, but let's look at how exactly their skills work. So for Liz, obviously to start the battle with a certain amount. Uh, her charge skill, which lowers an enemy's magic resistance. Okay. Her also increases charge value and damage by 1.4 times when in mermaid mode. Okay, so she's stronger. We know that. Her assault skill, which attacks all enemies. Okay, it raises all your allies' magic attack. Also increases charge and break values and increases damage by 1.4 times when in mermaid mode. Okay, that's pretty cool. So charge and break goes up when she's in mermaid mode. Um, which, I mean, is pretty standard. You know, she's doing more damage, so. Her incarnate skill increases all your allies' magic attack while also attacking all enemies with a magic attack that gets even more powerful when in mermaid mode. Okay, so she's a, she's a magic buffer. Um, which is actually pretty good for Earth because I feel like a lot of Earth units are just magic. So, uh, this Liz would be great for me to have, especially since my personal bias. I do like, you know, Liz is probably my favorite... Yeah, I, I think I'd say Liz is probably my favorite female uh, character in the cast, so I would definitely like to have another Liz. Uh, I think the, li the Liz that I have is the dark one, the first one that came out, so having Liz of a different color would definitely be cool. Um, so they pretty much went over everything here, but let's just go over it real quick one more time. So magic attack medium on single enemy for charge, lowers magic resistance by 20% for one turn, and incarnate charge is 20%. Rock strike... Well, I guess that makes... I mean, all her skills are Earth. They're not actually water-based. Um, rock Strike is an Assault. Magic Attack strong on all enemies. Raises Magic Attack of all allies by 10% for two turns. Okay, two turns isn't bad. And then Mermaid Mode. Places your character into Mermaid Mode. Um, which is just an Enhanced Mode. They're just using the name. It's like a joke because they're, they're summer units. Uh, strengthening your skills. Increasing MP. Required on usable skills for two turns. And then Incarnate Skill... Pleasant Beach Volley. Uh, incarnate Magic Attack on all enemies. Raises Magic Attack of all allies by 10% for two turns. So, she's a very solid seasonal unit. I mean, I mean, obviously, seasonals don't matter much in this game. Because as we saw with the Roni and TSA, they get added to the general pool anyway. So, it's not like you can only get them around this time. This game doesn't really have limited time units. They're limited time in terms of when their banner leaves. But usually, like, a month and a half after that is when they get added to the general pool, so you'll be able to get them eventually. Plus, if they ever add another one of those select tickets that you can buy, you know, the, uh, the like, $40 ticket where you get to choose a character and you get a whole bunch of diamonds, uh, that would be another way to get one of these characters later down the road. Um, okay, now let's look at Asuna. Uh, her break skill, which lowers an enemy's magic resistance, also increases damage output by 1.2 times. And heals allies when I'm roaming mode. So the trade-off there is because she heals her allies, she only gets 1.2 times. Where Liz is just straight up damage, she gets 1.4 times. Um, so that makes sense there. Her assault skill, which deals more damage against enemies inflicted with a physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. Um, so she's great to be working alongside with uh, Liz with her uh, charge skill there. Because that lower magic resistance thing there. Plus, I think there are a few... Uh, Earth units that have debuffs like that. Um, also increasing damage by 1.3 times. It heals all allies when in mermaid mode. Okay, so you get a little bit more damage. Um, her incarnate skill heals your whole party while doing a magic attack that gets even more powerful when in mermaid mode, which makes sense. Uh, let's see what you do, Asuna. Uh, mad her break skill is a magic attack strong on single enemy. Lowers magic resistance by 20% for one turn. So she even does it herself. You don't need the Liz to kind of make that work. Uh, and Incarnate Break is 50%, which obviously will be a little bit higher when uh, you're in mermaid mode. Or enhanced mode. Whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Uh, Stone Crash is a magic attack extra strong on single enemy. Deals additional damage on enemies inflicted with physical or magic resistance debuff. 
And then the same thing with mermaid mode where she just all her abilities get stronger, but she also heals with all her abilities. Uh, and her current skill is Innocent Sandstorm, which is a current magic attack on single enemy, recovers HP weak of all allies. Uh, so not bad there. She's got some decent heals there. Um, I'll go until I get one of them. I'm not going to go for both of them, but, you know, if, like, within the first three steps I get one of them, I'll be good there. Um, I just definitely think I'm on this kind of road where I want to have at least one enhanced mode unit of each type, and then I'll be a little bit more specific on... Uh, well, actually, <laughs> if I'm going by that logic, I actually already have one for Earth because I have the... Uh, uh, I have the Leafa, but uh, at the same time, I do want to, uh, which, which is kind of funny because for a banner like this, I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to limit break them. Um, so maybe I should reconsider doing summons because it's like, I only have 73 gems here to even get Leafa to 95, but I, I don't know. My bias towards Liz is just kind of telling me like, I want to summon here. So I probably will uh, just overall, even though. So for enhanced mode units, I have non-elemental, I have water, and I have earth. So fire, light, and dark, and wind are the ones I still need enhanced mode units for. So overall, this banner should be a skip for me. But um, like I said, my bias towards Liz and her being a summer unit just uh, makes me want to summon. So I probably will. Um, let's see if there's an event coming with this. There should be? I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. It doesn't look like there's any event coming with this. It looks like it's literally just, uh, huh. Unless it's down here. Okay, well, let's look at the summer campaign bonus. Maybe this will explain... Uh, some so well, we already have that. If you've been logging in, you notice we've been getting all this login stuff. Okay, so they re reissued the story event, and uh, it looks like there's going to be something. All weapons. Okay, so during this event period, weapons from past scouts. Will, oh yeah, that's another thing that's been going on. Um, this isn't a permanent thing. This is just for this campaign. But if there's a specific weapon you never got to get, and you have the stuff to exchange for it. Every weapon that was ever here is now going to be here for... Yeah, okay, so 41 days left. So you got a little over a month to grab any weapons that you might possibly want to grab from there. But uh, it looks like there's not going to be any event coming with this, which probably means that in a few days... here, Maybe when... Uh, no, that'll be a little bit too late. I'm trying to think because we'll obviously have to get our monthly War of Underworld event. So maybe when this Leafa event ends... Uh, this ranking event will get a War of Underworld event, and then the summer character, maybe by that time, we'll have the second set. Because there's definitely going to be two sets of summer characters. There definitely, It definitely won't just be the Liz and Asuna. I think this week we'll have the Liz and Asuna, and then next week will be, I don't know, maybe they'll do... I don't think Alice and Adis, just because we just got enhanced mode units of them, so I think it'll be characters that we don't have enhanced mode yet. So maybe, like, Silica and Sinon, possibly? Um, yeah, maybe, like, Silica and Sinon would be uh, viable options there. If they really wanted to branch out, maybe they could give us a Fanatio or a Dakura. Um, Roni and Tiese, also other viable options. So I definitely do think there will be a Part 2 banner. Um, I don't know. I don't think they'll be Earth, though. I don't think they'd double it. They'd make f five Earth units back-to-back. -back. But, um... Yeah, I think my summons for this is just personally going to be due to bias. It's not going to be due to gameplay reasons. Even though the Liz is a really good enhanced mode unit, uh, the main reason I will be summoning is because of, you know, I, I like the character. Um, so by the time this, uh, thing drops, um... As you can see, I only have like 680-something diamonds, so I'm only going to be able to do the first three steps. It's unfortunate there's not going to be an event coming with this, but um, I'll be I'll do the first. We'll do a video with three steps, and hopefully we can get one of them. And if not, I'll just uh, have to do the other two steps. But uh, 
Let me know what you guys think down below about these units. Are they units you are going to want to be summoning for? Um, I still think the most exciting thing about this is our first Asuna that is not a rapier unit. So, um, since rapier units are very far in between, since they're mostly just Asuna characters, it's very few rapiers that you're going to be able to have. So, her being a sword unit will definitely be nice. But, um, another interesting thing, this silica right here that they're showing in the picture is a water unit. So maybe the second part will have water units. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.